Here is my Lego Reddit Gifts Exchange. And funny story on this one. My husband and I have been doing Reddit Gifts Exchanges since Christmas time of 2014. And we usually tend to sign up for at least one or two of the same exchanges, each of us. Well, this is the very first time in all these years that one of us was matched with the other. My husband was matched with me. He was sending to me. Well, he showed me a YouTube video for Lego Art World Map the other day. I guess it's a couple months ago now. And I decided, hey, that looks like diamond paint. I want that one. And here we go. I don't know if you can see it in the video. 11,695 pieces. Mm -hmm. Jeez. That is the world's biggest Lego set at the moment. By piece count. By piece count, yeah. Um, most of it, it's like over 11,000 of the little round pegs, I guess you call them. Um, I think there's seven different colors. It's right here. It says red, orange, yellow, uh, bright green, a little darker green, a blue, and a white. I think that's all the different colors. I'll put uh, pictures in the video so you can see the whole box. It's a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> but uh, the way this is set up, you can put your country in the middle. There's, I think, three different versions or three different setups that you can use. And it says down here at the bottom, it shows customize the oceans. But uh, we found this at the Lego store here in Overland Park, Kansas. And I also got some uh, individual pieces. They have a wall of uh, like buckets that you can get individual pieces that I'm going to customize my map with places that we've been and stuff like that. So this is my Lego Reddit Gifts Exchange. World map. We have a ready gifts exchange for me. This one is for my crafting supplies. Ready gifts exchange. Let's see what we got here. Oh, diamond paintings. Gift receipts. Hello, Craft Reddit friend. I hope you enjoy these wolf diamond painting kits from Craft Reddit Santa. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of them in here. Looks like four kits. There's that one. That goes that way. There's that one. That's not a wolf, that's an owl. <laughs> I'm not sure if they meant this one as a wolf, but that's an owl. It looks like an owl to me. So there's four diamond painting kits. They're all 30 by 40 kits. Here's another Reddit gifts exchange for me. <laughs> a little bit awkward here. I'm trying something different, putting the camera right in front of me so that I can see what I'm recording. It's, yeah, instead of on the other side of the table. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough diamond paintings. Crafties? Yeah, uh, no, I already got that one. I'm not sure which one this is for yet. Uh, I love the colors on this diamond painting. I think it'd be a great addition to your diamond projects. I've always wanted to try, but I hope you enjoy. From Demi Angel Fantasy. So I got two pack. Yeah, I got two packages from Fantasy. I forgot about that. Okay. So this is from Fantasy Exchange again. Uh, Santa of the Hufflepuff House. Okay. Uh huh. Very cool. It's a Hogwarts. It 
says Hogwarts right there. Yep, I've looked at this one. I actually sent, I think it's this one, sent this to somebody else and another exchange. Let's see. Yeah, that's the top. Okay. And then it's got 23 colors. It's a 30 by 40. I'm curious if it's round or square. There's the kit. It's hard to tell. But I think they're round diamonds. Yeah, it looks like they're round diamonds. Which is fine. I just prefer the square diamonds. The painting looks cleaner, I think. But that's going to have a lot of black. The whole background is black. <laughs> You're going to be busy with that one. Yeah. You're going to go black <laughs> blindness. Well, I have another one that's a lot of white. See, Mom's big bear picture that I got. Here's another Reddit Gifts exchange package. For me, Let's see what is in this one. Nope. Yeah. Okay. The note says, "I love wolves, and especially this trinket box. I perused your wish list and found these. They really struck a chord." Enjoy from Demi Angel 2 Fantasy Santa. Okay. Hmm. So this was on my wish list? Oh, it's got a cute little drawstring bag here. Ah. Yeah, I did have these on my wish list. It's a little bracelet. Actually, it's two bracelets. It's got a little wolf right there. So that's cute. I was looking at these, not sure if they would fit my wrist. And that tight, they won't. But they do have extra string here. Maybe I can make them fit. That's cool. Here's another Reddit gifts exchange for me. It's a kind of cubish shaped box in a bag. A small one. There we go. Sure which side is the top. Ah, okay. This, I think, I also had on my Amazon wish list. It's got a wolf sitting on the lid. It's a little jewelry box. Yeah, something to keep your rings in. Yeah, I only have two rings. Yeah, my watch won't fit. <laughs> no, definitely not. But it's kind of like a, I don't know if that's pewter or... So it kind of feels like some kind of a rock that was carved out of. That's very cool.
Here's another Reddit gift exchange for me. There it is. Love the easy open. This one is my bag exchange. That is a pretty good sized bag. Let's see where's the trying to find the opening. Aaliyah Wear. Thank you for purchasing the Aaliyah Wear shoulder tote bag for women. Please enjoy your purchase. Please take one minute of your time to leave a review on Amazon. Okay. And there is not. Let me say this. Oh, there. They're still in the bag. There it is. Hi, I hope this bag will work for you. There were a lot of good reviews on it from Afriel Bag Santa. Okay. That's cute. Box bottom. Hmm? It's what they call a box bottom. Okay. Where it'll stand up. Oh, that's cool. Never heard of that before. Yep. You'll learn a lot about that in the yarn community. There's a pocket right there. And right there. Oh, it zips up. There's a zipper pocket down here. dark in there <laughs> that's cute not sure what I'm going to use it for yet I'll find, figure out something though and as mom says the style of the bottom it'll stand on its own apparently that's cool it's a pretty color too texture Here is another Reddit gifts exchange for me. I have a weird packaging. Oh, this is my magnets exchange. Muncie, Indiana sticker. Muncie, weirder than Austin, cheaper than Indy. Okay, that's another sticker. Muncie, Indiana, magnet. Greetings from. And the train that wouldn't end. The city can't stop it. Nothing human can move it. Uh, looks like it's a movie poster. Okay. Because down there at the bottom, it lists... I'm trying to read it there. Uh, Hoyt, Hackley, Jackson, Gil Kilgore. I guess that's a different cities in Indy or Indiana. But the way it's designed, it looks like a movie poster. That's cute. Here is another Reddit gifts exchange for me. You're probably getting tired of hearing that by now, but I did sign up for 11 different exchanges this time around. This is one of the last Reddit gifts exchanges that they're going to have ever, at least with Reddit gifts. So I wanted to make sure to make the most of it. Okay, I'm not sure which exchange this was for. Um, this is either Simple Pleasures or 
Yeah, I think it's Simple Pleasures. I already got my mental health one. Okay. I think this might be what that one is for. 50 cool things to do in the car. On the go amusements. It's a little box here. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what some of those are. Yeah, there's no... Yeah. I didn't see one. Nothing in the bag? Nothing in the bag. Okay. I'll have to compare the tracking number then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Card small enough? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. really tiny. Mm -hmm. Pet guesser? I'm going to need my magnifier for this. Even getting on the camera close up, I can't read it. Wanna borrow mine? <laughs> I got mine in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get the mag fired out. That is small. Yeah. Jeez. When screen time or a nap isn't in the picture, a car ride, no matter how long or short, can be a truly taxing experience. The activities in this tin, from silly to sincere, will provide hours of engaging fun for the whole family. Simply pull a card and begin. And the pet guesser, when you pass a car, try to get a look at the people inside. Imagine what kind of pets they might own. Do they look like they'd own three cats and a fish or two dogs and a pony? What are their pets' names and how long have they had them? Okay. That's just the two cards I can read without opening this pack of cards. But yeah, those are pretty small and text is even smaller don't forget to take your magnifying glass with you on the trip oh yeah i've always got that in my pocket but that is cute i'm not sure how well i'll be able to read that bouncing down the road <laughs> <laughs> i like the tin that is really cute it's pretty yeah it's got the roads along this side okay. that's cute and then this one Loaded questions on the go. The classic game of who said that? Or so who said what? Uh, ages 8 plus, 4 to 6 players. Fun questions, personal answers, instant laughter. There is no... Keep this thing off. No shortage of laughs with loaded questions on the go as your life becomes a traveling party with 200 hilarious and creative questions for hours of memor memorable gameplay. Guess which player wrote which answer. What can make a person instantly popular? What superpower is not very super? What is a terrible thing to accidentally throw away? Your credit card? <laughs> I think David did recently. <laughs> Whose voice can you best imitate play with the enclosed cards pad and pencils or add the cards to the loaded questions board game okay there's a board game out for this too that's interesting whose voice can I best imitate mine <laughs> David said he can best imitate his own voice an essential Burt's Bees kit. There's five different things in this little kit. Since 1984, working in harmony with the power of nature. Um, let's see, it's hand salve. There's deep cleansing cream, body lotion. <laughs> lip balm, and foot cream. Okay. That's an interesting thing to send. Yeah. <laughs> lip balm to foot cream. Hmm. Yeah.
Here is another Reddit gifts exchange. And this one they wrote on the outside of the box, which means they sent it themselves. It says Secret Santa Plushies Exchange. Right there. So I know which one this is. <laughs> Let's see. They taped it up really good too. So it won't pop out. <laughs> won't come to life and do something? For what you say. Yeah. Okay. This one's going to be fun to try to get into because they put the shipping label under the tape, too. There we go. Oh, look at that. A card with my nickname. Oh, okay. That looks like for Jester again. I think that's everything. Here's a stuffed wolf. Wild Republic. Yeah. That is cute. He's super soft. He looks soft. And then there's this from BarkBox. Best of BarkBox. Cup of Bark Roast. <laughs> it's like a Starbucks cup. <laughs> and it's squeaky. squeaky. Oh boy. Jasper <laughs> loves squeakies. Now I'm glad you are on a different floor. <laughs> What did your dog think? Email dogthoughts at bark.co to tell us. From Boone and Dexter. So I guess they wrote that on there. Packed with fluff. Best for photo ops. Of course, we will video him playing with this. How it's made. Large squeaker. And packed with fluff. Which, as soon as he gets into it, tears it up, we're going to have to toss it. And that probably won't take long knowing him. But that is super cute. The wolf going to drink the bark roast. <laughs> yeah. And we've got a card here. It goes this way. There's the card on the outside. Another 365 days of love and laughter. Wow, they wrote a personal note on here. Hope you love and enjoy your wolf plushie. Wolves are one of my favorite animals. I wanted to share one of my favorite brand of plushies. The two Jester, we wanted to share a toy we really love. Hope you love it as much as we do. Dexter and Boone. P.S. Happy fourth birthday. Jester's birthday is tomorrow on Halloween. Mm -hmm. He's going to be four years old. April and husband and happily ever after. Wishing the two of you an amazing anniversary. Hope you both have a wonderful anniversary. That's super cute. That's sweet. Yeah, I love that. And the personal note and everything. That shows somebody with a lot of thought and care in their ready gifts exchanges. Here is another Reddit gifts exchange. This one is mine, and I believe this is my puzzle exchange. The person just messaged me this morning, actually, and told me, oh wow, got multiple things in here. Told me 
that their tracking said it had been delivered and was making sure I had received it, which I had. We picked everything up yesterday. Their gift note. Happy anniversary. The little crystal puzzle is a bit silly, but I thought it was cute. From, I'm April too. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and I've been looking at this one, thinking about getting it. I'm glad I didn't because now I have it. It's a wolf crystal 3D crystal, uh, crystal puzzle. And it's the easiest one, but that's fine. I love wolves. That's going to be fun to put together and pretty quick too. Let's see, let's say how many pieces? 38 pieces. Well, that'll be easy for you. Oh, yeah. And there's different ones. It shows nine different ones on the back. It looks like a skull, a dog, a panda. I think that's an owl, a butterfly, a ducky, a heart, a treasure chest, and a diamond. A panda? Yes, there's a panda, Mom. <laughs> I've thought about getting that for you a while back. But I know there's other versions, other puzzles too. So I'm going to put that together later, I think, if I get time. Let's see what's in this one. Okay. It's not the one I have. This is a wooden puzzle, which I have done one of these before, but this is a different wolf. I love these. These are so cool. If this is the same as the other one, the puzzle pieces, and it is, they're unique completely. Every piece is unique. And they're in the other one I did. Yep, there's one right there. Is that an easel to put it up? Yeah, I think that's an easel. That's a wolf-shaped piece. That is so cool. I love this uh, model, this brand. Um, let's see, this one. Wood Best Creative Wood Puzzles. And that right there is the picture that you're building. And it's 3D. It's kind of engraved into the picture. This part is not 3D, but that shows the design. kind of tongue and groove to go into the box. And here's the easel, I guess you set the puzzle on? No. No, what is this? That's to set the picture on. Oh, the stand. picture, that's right, yeah, like that. Uh -huh. Forgot about that. We haven't done these since January. Mm -hmm. At least at all. I think that's when we did mine and tried doing yours and we didn't get yours done. No. Nope. Playing tips for three difficult levels, okay. Level one, take out the extra puzzle pieces from the envelope and complete it. Embed the completed puzzle into the front cover so as to integrate them into an entirely, integrate them to an entirely. Okay, poor English. It's easier and also a great challenge for the kids. Level two, referring to the entirety done in level one, you could start to challenge the Formal puzzle with great fun, but also some frustrations. Level three, trying to challenge the most difficult one. Skip the level one and get into the formal puzzle directly without any reference. Indulge yourself in the dazzling puzzle world. Okay. So in this envelope are the pieces that go into the lid. Yeah. They go into this piece. Uh -huh. The other puzzle didn't have that. No. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. I might want to work on this one later too. You're not gonna have time. Yeah, I never have time. Always have so much to do. Well, you only have a few days off. Yeah, we're only here for three days this time. I love these burlap pieces in the box. And there's all the pieces, different shapes. That's gonna be a lot of fun to do. That is my puzzle. Ready to give up. One of the pieces was out. Ready to give exchange. Put that back in there too. 
That's cool. It comes in a box. Yeah, I love that. Here is another Reddit gifts exchange. There is a Reddit gifts, uh, I guess he is an alien. I don't know if he's got a name popping out of a box on this label. <laughs> and this one again is for me. Not sure which exchange this one was for. Is that kind of like their icon? Yes. Reddit? Yeah. I don't have my list of tracking numbers in front of me to compare. Try that open. There we go. Oh, we got some tissue paper wrap stuff in black and orange. Hello. <laughs> this is tomorrow. This might be my trick or treat. Is it being wrapped like that? Oh, we got a third thing in here. Okay. We got three things. Let's start with this one. <laughs> and it's wrapped again. Oh, cool. This is different moon phases. There's the full moon, and then the waxing moon and the waning moon. That's cool. Open this one. I think this might be for Jester. Mm. Let's see. Pup Tech. Pet Lovers Club, amazing pet products testing US. It's got their Facebook address, facebook.com slash groups slash pet lover club. Okay. Pup tech makes your pet life better. Okay. I love these zipper bags. There's a couple toys in here. I don't think it's gonna go very long. No, probably not. Not with Jester. Yeah. 100% polyester, 50% polyester. None of these are checked, so I don't know what it is. It's not as squeaky, I don't think. Yeah, it's not squeaking. He's going to grab onto this and swing it around. <laughs> and hopefully not hit Grandma. That one's a squeaky. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's going to love that one. He's gonna yeah, play. squeaky and a uh, thrasher. This one's got, on one. yeah, this one's got a little bit of ropes that you can grab onto maybe. But I didn't feel, eh, it might be one right there. Yep. They're both squeakers. Oh, yeah, he's going to love those. He might not tear them up since they got ropes he can throw around and everything. Dome Star. Let's see what's in this box. Okay. <laughs> Pumpkin lights. Not too bad tomorrow is Halloween. Could have put these in the, on the truck or in the truck uh -huh. for decoration. And we'll use them next year, probably. Those are cute. Are they battery operated? Yep. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Three AA. We can hang them around the windshield like we did the lights this year. There you go. So, yeah, I'll put these away to use next year for the decorations. That's going to be cute.
Here is another one of my Reddit gifts exchanges. I know it is because it has my Reddit gifts nickname on it. It feels like a book. I was introduced to ElfQuest back in the late 90s. I believe it was around 99. And I fell in love with the comic series. Oh, wow. The complete ElfQuest. Wendy Penny and Richard Penny. That's who wrote and drew, I believe. This is volume 3, actually. So now I need to get volume 1 and 2 and however many more after 3 if there are more. I'm going to love this. Definitely need to get this put back in storage to keep it from getting torn up in the truck. <laughs> Let's see, that is Cutter. Um, I think that was Moonwise. I haven't read the ElfQuest comics in forever. I actually had a bunch of the comics and the manga style but uh, I think it was in storage or actually it was in our apartment that our ex-landlord stole our, all our stuff in 2017. So I lost my entire ElfQuest collection. <laughs> but this is going to help me get it started again. This is another one of my Reddit gifts packages. And right away, there was already a hole in the package. So, the first thing I pulled out was a diamond painting. Let's see if you can see that. Oops, it's up down. There we go. It's a wolf. It's a pretty wolf. Very colorful. 35 by 45. I don't really want to open it right now because we are in the truck for the time being. So I'm going to leave that in the box for right now. And then the other thing in this package. It's kind of heavy. Something I've wanted for a long time. Mortar and Pestle. A marble one. So that's very cool. This is from my Simple Pleasures exchange. And they did not put a gift receipt in the package. So these are going to stay in the boxes for now. And then next time we get home, I'll drop them off at storage to keep them safe. Either storage or with my mom. That's where all my diamond painting stuff is right now. So, there's that one. We've received another one of our Reddit exchange packages. This one is David's Fantasy Reddit Gifts Exchange. And he's asked me to open his package for him on the camera. So let's see what he got this time. Boy, they were thorough with the tape. card here. That's 
pretty. It's a fairy on a moon with dragonflies. Inside. Hi, David. I hope you enjoy this and find the perfect place to display it. From your fancy, fantasy secret Santa, the Lyra 17. That's a pretty card. Mm -hmm. Tree free greetings. So there's that. Okay. Now that is very cool. <laughs> it says wolf spirit with a wolf and a moon. A howling A wolf. howling moon. Howling wolf mm. moon. I might have to confiscate this from David. <laughs> <laughs> you take that, I take that. <laughs> He's threatening to take my world map from my Lego exchange. <laughs> I guess we'll have to share this one. <laughs> That'll work. And he's going to steal it right now. This one, David asked me to open for him. This is one of his Reddit exchanges. This is from Plushies Reddit Gifts. Keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Okay. They sent it in a gift bag. Okay, cool. Okay. That's the gift bag. <laughs> yeah, it's in a box. That is cute. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. They knotted it. Okay. It's kind of purple with green. Grayish purple. There we go. So that is what they sent. Lion King. Lion King, and it's Nala and and Simba. Yeah. That was nameless for some reason. There's Nala and Simba. Let's see, it says we nuzzle. I guess they're Ah, it's a magnet. That's a clip, but their foreheads are magnetized. <laughs> That's cute. And David wants to play with it already. Now let's see what's in the envelope, what it says. This gift receipt. Hello, I was thinking about you and your wife traveling so much. I thought that you could keep this in your truck as a small reminder of the love between you two and the hardship, hardships you get through together. Enjoy. From Anisha, and then it gives their Reddit name, A-R-A-F-Y-N. Here is one of our Reddit gifts exchange gifts. This one is for David from his Lego exchange. And he has asked me to open it on camera for him. And his Lego person that was sending to him sent him a message and said that he had to go out of town unexpectedly and forgot to grab the gift to send to him. So he ordered this one on Amazon. And then he's, when he gets back home, he's going to send the other one that he originally planned on sending. So this is, I think that's a Ferrari. Let's see. If it says on in here. Um, yeah, Ferrari F8 Tributo. Okay. 
275 pieces. Speed Champions. It's one of the cars you said you were interested in. So that's going to be cool. Here is another Reddit gifts exchange, this time for David. And we believe it is his Lego, the main part, the second package of his Lego. Oop. Tripod got in the way. Okay. Yeah. Open early December 25th, North Pole. Feeding holiday weather since 1861. Tape the thing good. There we go. I'll slide it off. He's got tape on the bottom. There we go. That's what we were reading. It says on top two. Uh-huh. Uh oh wow. Get everything out of here. There's a handwritten note. Take the note. I got the box. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So he got two more Legos. There's a Speed Champions, mm -hmm. 250 piece. It's a 1985 Audi Sports Quattro S1. Mm -hmm. That's a nice car. Audi Quattro. So there's that one. And then he got a two piece. There's two cars in here apparently. Mm -hmm. 663 pieces, Lamborghini, Urus yes. STX and Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Evo, I guess. I'll take either one. Lamborghini. <laughs> Mom wants a Lamborghini. My favorite car, Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. So that's very cool. He's got three more cars to build. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. After I finish the shuttle. <laughs> yeah, he's been working on the shuttle that we got at Lego store a couple weeks ago. Here's the note. Greetings, Dreddle. It's my husband's nickname. First, I want to thank you and your wife for hauling our consumer products around. My stepdad was also a trucker, and I know it is a tough, needed, thankless job. So sincerely, thank you. I also want to say how sorry I am that you lost your collection. <laughs> David used to have a lot of Legos, and they got lost over the years. I do not know what I would do if I lost mine, especially how expensive they are now. Yeah. I do hope you enjoy what I picked out for you. I live this... I love the Speed Champions series. Yeah. That's making a lot of noise. I love the Speed Champions series and thought everyone deserves a Lambo in their life. And the Audi would be an everyday driver. That's funny. I hope you have a safe and happy rest of 2021. Then a happy new year. Sincerely, Secret Santa. Okay. So that's the personal note that you put in the package. Mm -hmm. So that is very cool. David received another Reddit gifts exchange, and the only two that he was still waiting to receive are from Puzzles Exchange, so I know that's what these are going to be. Now, he asked me to open these on camera on his behalf, so let's see what he received this time. I 
again? <laughs> yes, again. again. I did this same truck back in, I think it was January of this year. He received this same truck in a Reddit gifts a couple months ago. And here it is again. So we're going to have three of these trucks. I guess the first one is mine. The second one is David's. And this one's going to be mom's. I don't know about mom putting it together because this is difficult. We'll have to do this for her. Maybe a collaboration. That's funny. That is very funny. Especially since I want the mechanical truck, but we have three of the non-mechanical trucks. Oh my goodness. That is too funny. And then we have, it looks like two puzzles. They're both a thousand pieces. There's that one. And then there is that one. So it's like different posters or comics, actually. This one's comics. Get close up. And then this one, different ads, it looks like. You see that. Saw something about apples in there. Oh, yeah. Snow Owl Apples, Rio Moon. Maybe movies? I grow these myself. I don't know. That's yeah. interesting. Looks like maybe old ads or. Yeah, old ads for. for or, you know the old wooden car cartons that stuff came in? They had, they had advertisements like that on them. Okay. The wooden crates. Okay. So that's like a two pack of puzzles. That's cool. I like yeah. that one. We have another package for David from his puzzle exchange. Please not another truck. <laughs> well, this is from the same person, so they better not have sent two of the same thing. <laughs> That's just too funny. That is. I love the tape. Okay, maybe I can get it open now. There we go. Okay, Playbill presents 5th edition, a thousand piece puzzle. So these are like plays, posters. Looks like The it. best of Broadway 2010 to 2019. Hmm. That's what it says on the back. Cool. So he's got some more puzzles, some new puzzles to put together. There's that one. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Leave us a comment down below. What was your favorite Reddit gifts exchange? Did you see anything that you liked that we received in this big bundle of Reddit gifts? If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe and bell icons so you'll get notifications when we upload new content, which will be at least one new video every week. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.